Slack dumper purpose. Archive your private and public Slack messages, users, channels, files, and emojis. Generate Slack export without admin privileges. Quick links, join the discussion in Telegram, buy me a cup of tea, or use GitHub sponsors button on the top of the page. Reference documentation. How to's matter most migration steps. Slack log viewer and Slack dump together. Step-by-step -step guide by Viviana Marquez requires medium subscription. Overview on medium .com outdated. Description. Typical use scenarios. Archive your private conversations from Slack when the administrator does not allow you to install applications, or you don't want to use potentially privacy-violating third-party tools. Archive channels from Slack when you're on a free no-archive subscription, so you don't lose valuable knowledge in those channels. Create a Slack export archive without admin access, or save your favorite emojis. There are four modes of operation, list users, channels, dumping messages and threads, creating a Slack export in Mattermost or standard modes. Emoji download mode. Slack dump accepts two types of input, the URL link of the channel or thread, or the ID of the channel. Quick start. Download the latest release for your operating system from the releases page. Unpack the archive to any directory. Run the dot slash Slack dump or Slack dump executable. By default, Slack dump uses the easy login 3000 automatic login and interactive mode. If you're migrating to Discord, the recommended way is to use Slackord 2, a great tool with a nice GUI that is compatible with the export files generated by Slack Dump. User guide for more advanced features and instructions, please see the user guide. Previewing results. Once the data is dumped, you can use one of the following tools to preview the results. Slack Log Viewer, a fast and powerful Slack export viewer written in C++. Slack Dump to HTML, a great Python application that converts Slack Dump to a static browsable HTML, works on dump mode files. Slack Export Viewer. Slack Export Viewer is a well-known viewer for Slack export files. Using as a library, download, go get github.com slash dump dump v2. Example package main import context log dot text log github.com slash 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 slack dump washed off. Funk main provider provider air auth dot new value auth xoxd if error nil log dot print return sd error equals slack dump dot new context dot background provider if error equals nil log dot print return equals sd see using custom logger slack dump uses a simple logger as a default logger please read below for instructions on plugging your favorite logger logress good news is logress can be plugged in straight away as it implements the logger interface out of the box, Glog and others. If you need to use some other logger, such as Glog, it is a matter of wrapping the calls to satisfy the logger interface and then setting the logger variable in slack dump dot options or using with logger option. FAQ, do I need to create a Slack application? No, you don't. Just run the application and easy login 3000 will take care of the authentication or alternatively, grab that token and cookie from the browser Slack session. See user guide. I'm getting invalid auth, error, go get the new cookie from the browser and token as well. Slack dump takes a very long time to cache users. Disable the user cache with dash no user cache flag. How to read the export file? For Slack workspace export, use Slack log viewer, which is extremely fast with an advanced search function, or Slack export viewer, which is a Python application and runs in a browser. For the generic dump files, see examples directory for some Python and shell examples. My Slack workspace is on the free plan. Can I get data older than 90 days? No, unfortunately you can't. Thank you to all contributors who submitted a pull request, reported a bug, suggested a feature, helped to reproduce, or spent time chatting with me on Telegram or Slack to understand the issue. Also, thanks to all W, 